My dad had mentioned that because I'm a doctor, sometimes I may be helpful telling other people how doctors think. And so today I'll tell you about a change in the medical profession. So doctors have recently changed the way they write their notes. We have gone from a format called SOAP to APSO. How does this affect you? Well, it should change also how you speak to doctors. And the thing is that, you know, when you're used to somebody talking to you in a certain way, then you're basically sort of, it catches you off guard. You can't process it well when somebody speaks to you in a different way. And so as doctors, we have changed our communication style to talking in a different way than we did 10, 15 years ago. And thus patients also should now talk to us in a different way. Not to say that it happens, oftentimes patients don't, but I'm saying it's actually easier if you talk to your patient in the way that doctors talk to each other, cause then they're like, oh, I get you. Yeah. So let me tell you exactly what I mean. So if you go back to my medical, which is about a decade or so ago, we use the format called the SOAP note. Subjective, objective, assessment plan. Subjective is just sort of when we talk to a patient, what they feel, asking them, hey, so when did you get sick? They're like, oh, a week ago. So what exactly happened? That's all what we call subjective. Objective is the data. So that's the physical exam. That's the lab values, imaging studies like x-rays or CT scans, EKGs, etc. And then finally, assessment and plan, the most important part, but we kept it at the end. And the logic behind it is you want to go through all these things, review their data for yourself, come up with your own conclusion, and then you'll see if it matches with their conclusion. You have another set of eyes reading their soap note. But we've all changed that because time, you know, we're busy people. We don't have time to go through all this fluff. Yeah, it's good reading sort of like a textbook. But, you know, there's shorter versions nowadays. We use up-to-date online. Who has time to read the, pull out their Cecil's or Harrison's? It's probably outdated anyways. So that's what we do. And I objected initially in residency. This was when I first saw this. I was like, oh, no, no, no. You got to force people to go through the thing. But, you know, you can't force people to just make them scroll down. They just scroll. Okay, assessment plan, they keep scrolling. Ah, I got it. They just skip the first part. If they want to look later, sure, they have the ability to. So people said, why not just put it on top? And if they want to scroll down, then they can. It saves them a few scrolls, I guess. And so it doesn't matter that I objected because it's just used everywhere. I've worked quite a few years now. And yeah, that's a standardized format that we write notes in. And this is how doctors communicate other people. Not when we're talking on the phone. We don't talk in soap notes or APSO notes. But yeah, we talk in this way when we write in a computer and that's what people read. So we're used to it. And so how does this influence the way you should talk to doctors? Well, too often you start with the same way that I used to write a note. The subjective objective assessment plan at the very end. You don't do assessment plan in the very beginning. But remember, time, valuable, attention span, short. So you should start with your assessment plan. Last week, I was having a little bit of a cough and then I had a fever and I was wondering, you know, maybe I have a virus, some infection, maybe the coronavirus. That's very good. Short and sweet. If the doctor has more questions, he'll ask. You could have prepared this whole long story of half an hour's duration. But yeah, if they, want to have, if they have questions, they need more information, they will ask you. You know, doctors are very capable of asking questions. I think many patients wonder that doctors won't ask them questions. I actually prefer when patients let me ask the questions because I think I know what's important or not. But yes, doctors have the ability to ask questions. They, they haven't lost that ability to ask questions. I don't know why people think we have. So, but if you start with a very succinct assessment and plan, done, right? And so, that way you could capture the doctor's attention in the very beginning. Instead of having them get bored, you're like, yeah, so, you know, about a month or so ago, I visited this place and yeah, afterwards I had a little bit of a <laughs> tickle in my throat, but I didn't think much of it. And then, you know, last week, the night before, uh, I stayed up too late and I know staying up late is not good for you. But yeah, probably shouldn't have drank too much that night either. But the next day, I had a little bit of cough in the morning. I didn't think too much of it. But you know, I'm watching the news and there's a lot of different coronavirus spikes right now. And a fever. Uh, wait, let me, let me, let me, give me a second. Um, oh, yes, yes. Uh, I think that was about, um, was that Wednesday or was that Thursday? See? 
you just lose somebody's attention. It could be useful information, just like the when we had old format, the soap note, the subjective, that's just what the patient says. In psychiatry, sometimes it's very funny to hear what the patient says. But, you know, it could be useful information, but there's so much of it. And people won't have the time to process it, especially doctors. So they prefer if you just sort of come to the point in the very beginning, right? Just tell them, what do you think? Assessment. What do you think I have? Plan. Well, don't worry about that. You just had the doctor coming up. Maybe you have some ideas you could suggest it, but just have the doctor coming up. But just say your assessment. This is what I think. I'm not really sure. What do you think? And then he'll say, oh, perfect. This is the way I like it. Let me see if I should scroll down and ask for more information. Maybe I should order some lab tests. That's all stuff I could do. But this is the way we write our notes nowadays. And so the thing is, nobody's updated the patient population. Nobody said, hey, we've changed. Do you want to change with us? Sort of like how at Target, you can't call people... Uh, whatever clerks anymore you call them team members right so yeah the world's constantly changing i just patients i guess haven't been informed of this change in the medical profession but now i've told you so you know how now to approach your doctor remember soap subject of visit assessment and plan versus apso assess and plan first subject to objective later so just remember ap first assess and plan first and you'll do better in your next interaction with the doctor